The old days, Friday night was quiz night here on ITV. And back in them olden days, there was no bigger quiz than the quiz of the week here from Norwich. It is time for Anglia at 50. Look back at Sale of the Century. Here's Natalie Gray. And now, from Norwich, it's the Quiz of the Week. Sailor the Century ended on ITV 26 years ago, yet people still remember the catchy signature tune. Put Anglia and, of course, Norwich on the map. Now let's meet the man who pays the money to buy these sale bargains, Nicholas Parsons. Hello, everyone. It oozed class, and thanks to the suave to the and sophisticated Nicholas Parsons. In full flow, he could cram five words into every second and 95 questions in 12 minutes. With what religious ceremony takes place at a font... Carol? Christening. Christening, baptism, a quadruped. What is this? Alec, Carol? A four-footed... Yes, and we have no more... He's 85 now. Boy, did you get some viewers. That was amazing, yes. I mean, we regularly had over 20 million. No, no quiz. I mean, Millionaire, which is a brilliant show, but, you know, no way can they get that nowadays. It began on Anglia in 1971, but soon it was rolled out across the whole network. By 1976, it was topping the ratings, with regular outings on Christmas Day and bank holidays. Contestants left with armfuls of prizes, the like of which had never been seen before on television. I think the, the, the sweetest and loveliest thing that happened was uh, we were doing the simple one-pound questions, and I said, <coughs> I put the question, I said, according to the proverb, what should you not do if you live in a glass house? And the woman pressed her buzzer and said, take a bath. <laughs> Which is hysterical, isn't it? I mean, if it had been a comedy show, you'd say, oh, that's brilliant, you'll give you some bonus, give me more money and so forth. I said, I'm sorry, no, you mustn't throw stones. So I have to take the money away. And he was one week, the prize car was a larder, one of the first in the country. So I said, what's this? Oh, it's a larder, it's the new Russian car. And I said, and this is a, a, a car, it's a four-seater and so forth. And, were, and I did the handle and the door fell off. Oh, no! Yeah. <laughs> and so began. And so began the larder jokes. One of the glamorous hostesses was Laura Beaumont. She's married to the bird-watching broadcaster Bill Oddy. She writes scripts for children's television now, but is still thrilled to have been part of the most-watched game show ever. It was fantastic. I mean, you sort of felt you were part of Saturday Night. Suddenly my agent called up and said, do you want to go for this audition for a hostess for Sale of the Century? And I kind of was aware of what they did, but I you know, hadn't quite focused on it. So I get to this hotel room, and there's the three guys there, including the producer, and there's this table with some items on. And they say, could you pick something up and like present it to the camera? And it's like, what? Uh, OK, so I kind of gave it a go, and there was a food mixer and, um, you know, powdered potatoes or something. So I, and and I, you were supposed to make these things look sexy. So, you know, I gave it my best shot. And apparently I must have done well because I got it. So, you know, rest is history. But now come with me to the sale of the century with your £95. <laughs> the man playing the organ during the prize descriptions was Peter Fenn, who also composed the signature tune. He's now partially sighted and in his late 70s, but he's still playing the organ. Yay! Dead simple little tune, but you can remember it. As soon as it's played, people say, well, that's sale of a century. Are you sick of playing it? No, no, no. I, I get asked to play it. Usually when I'm stuck on a piano in some party somewhere, can you play Sail of a Century? <laughs> oh, all right then. <laughs> when the original programme stopped in 1983, it had awarded 500 contestants over £500,000 in prizes. It's the Quiz of the Week! 
Incidentally, the idea for the show wasn't Anglia's. The format came from America, but it'll always be associated with our region. Natalie Gray, Anglia News. From all of us here, goodbye. I feel Brilliant. like practicing now. Oh, We've got no prizes fantastic. here, though. Not no. even the tea's made. So we disappointing. We could hum the tune, I suppose. We just love those stories as well from Nicholas Parsons. Really <laughs> brilliant stuff Natalie's done there. Yeah, brilliant. Now, uh, we've had a great time this past couple of weeks looking back at all the old footage for Anglia's 50th birthday. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. Yeah, we really have. And you never know, we might just slip a few more treasures from the archive into the programme in the rest of the golden anniversary year. There's apparently loads of it. Yeah, loads of stuff I'm sure hanging there are going to be loads coming back out as well. <laughs> right, special thanks must go as well to the East Anglia. Anglian Film Archive, who now look after the Anglian Library and helped us out with this incredibly special series. Yeah, it's been wonderful, really great. Anyway, let's have a look now at what's coming up in the ITV National News in a couple of minutes' time. Coming up on the programme tonight... Well, it was a little bit foggy last night, wasn't it? It Let's was, hope as it's Amanda said, it was going to be ghoulish as well, wasn't well, it? Well, yeah, hopefully it's not too bad for trick-or-treating. Let's find out now with Amanda. <laughs> 